Mike, since we're on all the scrapping conversation, I think one of the most iconic fighting moments in uh, NHL history was at MSG when you found your way into the crowd and started beating a man with his shoe. <laughs> one Can of the you best YouTube through? clips of all time. It's, it's one of the greatest hockey clips of all time. It's just straight out of the it's slap shot. Like a, uh, well, you know around here, because you're living in Milton, you'd see it every time at Christmas. It's like a... It's like seeing the Christmas Carol or something, you know? It's yeah. on every year at the same time. You know time. it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Madison Square Garden at the time was not a very good place to play. I mean, you, they'd throw shit at you. They'd throw batteries or empty bottles, and there was no security getting through the gate at that time. You just came in with whatever you came in with. And the glass so, was low, right? And it was low. Yeah. So, anyway... Good game, two good teams playing. Espo had a breakaway with 10 seconds to go, and it was funny. Somebody from the stands, must have been a Bruins fan, threw a tennis ball right in front of Espo when he was going on on the breakaway, and he missed the shot. He always blames that tennis ball for why he missed the shot on Cheesy. But anyway, that was 10 seconds to go. The, the, the horn sounds I, like everybody does, rush out to congratulate the goalie. And then because I know it's Madison Square Garden, right off the ice. I go right into the locker room. It's two days before Christmas. We won the game. The Budweiser's on ice in the locker room, cold, we're ready to go, we're gonna be in Christmas holiday, and nobody follows me in. I don't know, what the hell? And so <laughs> finally Cheevers came in and I said, well, Jerry, where is everybody? He said, there's some sort of beef going on out there. So, you know, teammates do what teammates do. I, run back, I left my gloves, my stick, everything in the locker room, and I, I get to the ice level at Madison Square Garden, you guys know where the visitors jump up, they jump onto the ice, and I the stairs are to the left. I never got to the ice surface, I just walked up the stairs, and I see O'Reilly, McNabb, and, and a bunch of other guys, but McNabb's up highest, and he's my buddy, he sit beside him in the locker room, so I gotta go up there and, you know, He's already got the guy over the chair so his feet are up in the air, right? And I have no fucking clue why I'm there. Why, why am I here? Why am I in this position? I, what I, happened? I went from my, I was singing Christmas carols to my heart was racing like a thousand beats a minute. It was just, it was nuts. So I, you know, I gave him a, I just took, I don't know what happened there. I just had a brain cramp and grabbed his shoe, shitty little penny loafer and hit him on the thigh. And, you know, you would have thought over the next three days, the number of times they saw that, that play, that you would have think that I'd committed, you know, murder. It was just, it was just, they actually did a study at BU. Uh, they showed the clip once, and then they asked the students, how many times did he hit him? Most said three, four, five. Most said, well, where did he hit him? Most said in the head or upside the face or something like that. It was one little whack of a penny loafer on his leg. So... I got six games, no satisfaction really from not being able to smack the guy. By the way, down below, guys would go into town on some of these other fans. <laughs> they were getting their licks in really good. I didn't, I didn't do anything. You were the distraction with the shoe, and you yeah. got ching, you got ching, well, yeah, five hundred dollars, right? Five hundred bucks you got fined. Well, I forget what the fine was. It was whatever the maximum was, but they did take care of it back then. They took care of it, and we didn't lose any money, and we did appeal it. Those fans sued us for $7 million at the time, by the way. That got thrown out, fortunately. Um, and we did appeal it. It was, I guess, a very close vote. But if you vote to overturn the commissioner's decision like that, it's tantamount to telling him to resign. It was little twitty John Ziegler was the commissioner at the time. I can remember him skipping out as he had won. 